Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good 3 a.m. when you can't fall asleep and you're watching random YouTube videos, whatever this is. Today's video is going to be me showing you guys some fun everyday back to school hairstyles. And these are hairstyles that I've been either doing a lot recently, especially when my hair is greasy, or just fun ideas that I thought you guys might like. So before the video gets started, I do want to say that my really sexy and humble clothing company, Joe West, is launching new pieces on the 31st of August, and it's our pre-fall collection. This one's a very structured oversight says boxy tee and I love it. It has a really cute graphic on the back. Ooh, you see that? It's literally so cute and I'm gonna insert a few pictures of some of the pieces that are gonna be launching. And you can follow me on Instagram at Marla Catherine because I do a lot of teasers of the clothing that's gonna be launching on there or you can follow at Shop Joe West. I just really wanna real quick give a spill about this shirt. It's a original design that we created as a team and the Joe West is like this really fun embroidery that's slightly raised and like just the texture of everything golden and i'm so excited for you guys to wear it as well and to see it on you guys if you guys get this t-shirt you'll be living in it it's so comfy if you guys want to shop either my previous collections or this upcoming one you guys can go ahead and hit the link in the description box which is shopjoest.com let's get started first hairstyle i'm gonna need is a brush and some bobby pins so a few weeks ago i posted my instagram stories and it was like an outfit of the day and then i had my hair up in these like bobby pin hairstyle and a lot of you guys asked me how to do it and it's so simple so to begin with i have already brushed my hair but i Try to normally brush from the bottom and then work my way up. That way I'm not like ripping out all the knots when I'm going down. This properly distributes the grease. I normally part my hair in the middle and I feel like this hairstyle looks best with the middle part, but whatever you're comfy with. But I grab just this front section of my hair and then it goes straight up from my ear and I tuck it and I twist it slightly like this. Kind of like a way, almost like a facelift because it's just pulling up and away from my face. And then I take a bobby pin. I just bobby pin that directly diagonal away from my face. And then I hold that there and I take another one and I cross it. That way it's like extra strength and durability and then I do the same exact thing on the other side. I really like this hairstyle because I feel like it kind of does give you like a little facelift and like makes you look more awake. It helps to show off your ears. If you got cute ears, everyone has cute ears. What am I saying? But like if you have a super cute pair of earrings, like this would be a fantastic hairstyle. And then I normally just pull my hair all to the front like this. Brush it out. Um, I do this. I used to do this hairstyle like all the time, especially when my bangs were trying to grow out because I would just like hairspray it just because I, I didn't like the way my bangs looked. And I feel like this almost gives me like those Aurora vibes where it's like pulled up in a way, especially if your hair is not long enough to do like a half up, like this is kind of a good dupe for it. There's this first hairstyle. Voila. So this next one is watching a YouTube video and at the photo shoot, they did this hairstyle and I was like, oh, I'm like, that's really cute and I feel like I could recreate it. So I'm gonna begin by parting my hair down the middle and then dividing that in half and bringing it to the front. And for this, I do think your hair would need to be a little bit longer. So if not, maybe skip this hairstyle maybe. <laughs> but I'm gonna take my hair and pretty much at the nape of my neck, like right about here where my chin starts, I'm gonna divide it into two and I'm gonna very loosely start braiding it, except I'm not going to run my fingers all the way through. So it's gonna start braiding itself at the bottom as well. I think these are called like natural braids where you don't really need a rubber band at all It's not required. So see how I'm like I'm dividing my hair and as I'm doing that It's starting to braid it like down here as well. So I cross it over and I just keep on doing that Until I pretty much can't anymore and then I am going to flip it through like this all the hair just like this. And so I know rubber band is required. I'm gonna slightly pancake the braid. And this is just supposed to look like a very natural, like very bohemian braid where it's not very neat. I totally like it and that's literally it. And I'm gonna do this on this side as well. You know, this is such a nice hairstyle because you know when you show up at school and you're like, I look ugly. If you want to fix something, this is one of those hairstyles where you don't need any equipment, you don't need any accessories or rubber bands, and you can just quickly do it. It's very natural looking, very bohemian, and I love this hairstyle. So that completes hairstyle number two. <laughs> Okay, up and next for hairstyle number three. Once again, all you're going to need for this one is just pretty much small rubber bands. It's another variation of the Dutch braid hairstyle. Taking about an inch section of my hair at the front and I'm gonna begin braiding this, but I'm gonna be braiding it as a Dutch braid. So the middle piece is gonna be crossing over the other pieces. Also, I accidentally scratched myself on a bush. I'm gonna start braiding and only incorporating from the outside upper piece. So I don't grab any hair from like below here, only from up here. And I'm braiding up and away from my face just like this. 
I think these are actually called like front row braids. So once I get to about like the back of my head, I'm gonna stop incorporating and then just braid down. And actually you might not even need rubber bands for this one. I'm just gonna natural braid this again. Okay, and then I'm gonna repeat this on this side of my head. Then I stop incorporating once I get to like the back of my head and then I'm gonna natural braid this. So now that I'm done braiding, I'm just gonna go ahead and very loosely pancake. And that pretty much completes this hairstyle. It's also one of those very, very easy hairstyles. No rubber bands are required and perfect for back to school because it just pulls the hair out of your face while you're working, you're good to go. Uh, if you want, you can even put your hair down to like a low bun. Very versatile and super cute. So that completes hairstyle number three. <laughs> Okay guys, I actually did take like a four hour break in between filming and I went and did some stuff and now I'm here. So if the lighting is slightly different, that's why. But we're on to hairstyle, I think number four. But this next hairstyle is going to be a high ponytail. But I was gonna show you guys a way you can spice it up. With my high ponytails, I've noticed that like, I used to do like the low ponytails like all the time like that. But then I kind of came to find that I look like George Washington. Who's George and why is he always washing? What I do is I take my brush and I make sure everything's smoothed out. And then after that is done, I'm going to take my rubber band. I just have this like green elastic. My hair is like that awkward thickness where it's like almost too tight for three, but then it's too loose for two. It's so unique. No, I think like a lot of people struggle with this, but I just like, they don't make the rubber band stretchy enough. And then I like to, so once I've tightened my ponytail, I go in and I take my fingers and I kind of just rough it up. That way it's a little bit more voluminous, luminosity. And now I'm going to take this bad boy. This is from Lonely Ghost, but you really can take any bandana. I folded it in half. I'm just like rolling it into this. And then I'm just wrapping this around my ponytail. And then I'm just tying this in a knot around the ponytail holder. And that's literally the hairstyle. Like that's it. But this is just super simple. And I do feel like it adds a little bit of character. You can always like switch up the bandana, get different patterns, accessorize it with your outfit. So definitely get creative with your accessories. And I feel like that's a great way to quickly do your hair, make it look good and head out the door. I feel bad that these are all so simple, but at the same time, like I don't have time to do complex hairstyles in the morning when I'm like running late for school. That's why these are so easy and simple. Okay, so this next one, we are gonna be parting down the hair, down the middle, and I'm gonna be taking, you're just gonna need a few small elastics for this one. I'm taking, these are the CGH ones, and so they're like really nice. The Heritage by Mindy. I'm taking a few of these clear elastics and I'm going to be taking, make sure my hair is all brushed out. I'm gonna go at the end of my eyebrow and I'm going to section off kind of like this big square and I'm going to take a rubber band, clear elastic preferably, and then rubber band this into like a high ponytail. Now bear with me, this is literally the hairstyle I do in the first grade. Remember I'd sit down and mom would do this. Like faster. Faster, I'm gonna be late for school. When did you lose most of your baby teeth? Oh gosh, I can't remember. So I remember I was like later. Like fourth or fifth? Yeah, I remember there was a girl in the first grade because they had like a chart. I feel like, I feel like third or fourth grade, like they were fun. I remember they had like a chart for the kids that would lose their teeth and there was this one girl that I almost in completely school? filled. Yeah, and I remember being sad because mine had none. I was like, <laughs> you're like I'm publicly not. shamed because I didn't lost my, my baby teeth. Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, no. this isn't turning out the way I thought it would. Me making up as I go. <laughs> would I leave the house looking like this? <laughs> you know, this one wasn't a success, but that doesn't mean I, I'm not successful. Okay guys, ready? This next hairstyle, I'm taking the same bandana and I'm just brushing my hair all to the front, making it very slick. And then I'm taking this bandana and I'm wrapping it around my forehead and laying it right above my eyebrows. And then in the back, I'm just tying it in a knot, just like this. So after I have this tied, I like to make sure all my hair is brought to the front so I feel like it looks a lot better. And then to make it look just like a little bit more, it's not hippie enough, I'm gonna add a few small braids in. I'm just taking like a piece right here and then doing a natural braid where I don't use a rubber band and I just kind of let it braid itself. And now the braids are added in. I did two on this side and then one on this side. You can go ahead and you can pancake these braids or you can leave it as is, whatever you vibe with. But yeah, this hairstyle is super easy and I think it really just comes down to buying like the right bandana. Lonely Ghost makes some bandanas and I love it. They're literally the perfect size for doing this because they're so big. And so that is the 411 on these bandanas. Super cute, super fun, super funky, super fresh. <laughs> Okay guys, so for the last hairstyle, I'm showing you guys how I got that really slick bun in one of my new Instagram photos, which was a selfie. I pull it down into a pretty tight low bun at the nape of my neck. 
And then I take my brush and I begin brushing it in that direction away from my face. Then I take my rubber band and I secure that at the bottom of my neck. And then for the actual ponytail section, I'm gonna braid this really like gently. Just a very basic three strand braid. And then once I have that braided, I'm gonna rotate this and wrap it into that bun formation. And then take a few bobby pins and secure that. And now a little secret life hack is if you take a little bit of clear brow gel, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. This is like my favorite one. It's just clear and I'm just gonna go in and I rub that barely lightly over like the flyaway hairs. And it pretty much just acts like a hair gel or like a hairspray, except you can be a lot more precise since you have like the little wand to use it with. So I'll just like go over my part line really gently. The nice thing about this gel too is like I really feel like it works like hair gel. And so it's like it washes out of my hair just fine. And then since I do have my bangs that are growing out and they're a little bit shorter, I'm just gonna body pin the side of my hair right here just in case. And repeat that on the other side if needed. So, and that is it for my slick low bun. This is just another random thing, but if you take your bandana, again we're just really trying to make use out of this bandana but i'm just tying it around the bun and that just adds like another fun little extra flair if i'm down for that well that completes this hairstyles video i hope you guys enjoyed watching just a bunch of quick little cute easy and simple hairstyles and if you guys recreate any of them tag me in your pics i would love to see it at marla Catherine on instagram and yeah remember to check out shop Joe west that way you guys can stay in the loop for new drops that are coming and i will see you guys in my next video bye Bend to me.